This collection um, is so important because it got people to think. You know, um, France was still suffering uh, from the psychic scars of uh, World War II, from being a country, from being a, one of the major powers in the world to going to pick a country that was uh, occupied uh, for uh, more than four years. And this, of course, for uh, the friendship was a huge humiliation. And so the scars, they ran very, very, very deep. So at this particular period, you had designers such as Paco Rabanne and such as Pierre Cardin who were focused on the future. And then all of a sudden, on January 29th, 1971, here comes Yves Saint Laurent. about the collection was Yves Saint Laurent was able to launch a new phase of haute couture. Now before we had always seen uh, designers, like I said, Paco Rabanne and Pierre Cardin, who had purely asked on the future, the very far and distant future. But then again, we had this collection here. We had seen people uh, during this particular period um, wearing retro attire. Uh, and this had been going on since the events of May 1968 when the French had their last popular revolution here. And so retro had been there, but Yves Saint Laurent was the first designer, au couturier, or even grand couturier, to take retro and to bring it into the world of haute couture. I think what people really failed to realize in the collection was that if you look at the silhouettes, you had, in, particularly in les tailleurs, the suits, in the jackets, we saw all of this wonderful structure, and we saw these amazing angular lapels. And the collars of those lapels, they were really, really, really large. But Yves Saint Laurent was careful to put piping onto those silhouettes, and those pipings form the V. And so, and if you look at those uh, les tailleurs, we see that V representing victory. Mm -hmm. 